Sasuke Uchiha is the younger brother of Itachi, who was considered to be a prodigy of the Uchiha clan and the greatest ninja of his generation. However, despite his talents and admiration, Itachi chose to abandon his village, massacre his clan, and join the Akatsuki. Initially, Sasuke looked up to his older brother and idolized him, but that admiration was shattered one day when Sasuke returned home to find his entire clan was massacred by his elder brother, leaving only Sasuke remaining. Sasuke was left with a deep-seated desire for revenge, which became his driving force for most of the series. Unfortunately for Sasuke, he didn't know the full story. After the revelation that Itachi had to kill his clan in exchange for Sasuke's life and the village's safety, fans were left wondering if Itachi was really a bad guy and if he really went all out in his fight against Sasuke. Join us as we analyze one of the most iconic fights in Naruto. This is Did Itachi Uchiha Let Sasuke Win? Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say, welcome to the channel. I'm Dash and Flash, your future source for all things Naruto. This is a brand new channel and I literally have zero subscribers. If you hit that subscribe button, I will notice. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. The fated battle between brothers was the climax of over a decade of buildup, with many people even thinking that this was leading up to the end of the entire story, only to realize that their fight takes place only a quarter of the way into the series, just to be followed by some fan fictions about a burrito. But it was later revealed that Itachi actually loved Sasuke, and although their fight looked intense, Itachi would never kill Sasuke. So did Sasuke even really win? Let's analyze both characters and decide who the winner really should be. Let's start with Itachi. For a character that's only in like 20 episodes, he gets talked about a lot. And there's a good reason for that. It's my personal opinion that when creating Itachi, Kishimoto wanted to create a ninja who was basically invincible. If you think about pretty much any of Itachi's moves, they're nearly all one-shot abilities. Itachi has access to Amaterasu, where just by looking at someone, Itachi can engulf the target in a black flame so hot that it will never go out until the target completely burns to ash. He also has Tsukuyomi, where again, just by looking at your eyes, Itachi can place you under one of the most powerful genjutsus in the show. Once in Itachi Tsukuyomi, Itachi has control over nearly everything, even time itself, with Itachi famously killing Izumi by making her experience her entire life inside of Tsukuyomi. Even though less than a second had passed in the real world, her brain just collapsed from information overload. When Itachi used Tsukiyomi on Kakashi, he was put into a coma just because Itachi looked at his eye. Itachi claims that if you have a natural Sharingan, meaning you were born with it, you should be able to break through Tsukiyomi, but I have a few issues with this. One, the only person we ever see break through Tsukiyomi is Sasuke, who we've already established that Itachi wouldn't kill. And two, Tsukiyomi acts differently from other genjutsu because it alters the target's perception of time. This is important because when someone is caught in a genjutsu, time still flows normally in the real world. This is important because it means that breaking out of the Tsukiyomi does not necessarily mean that you're okay. My reasoning for thinking like this is because Itachi put B under a genjutsu, then they continued fighting for a while. Eventually, the Eight Tails realized that B was under a genjutsu and snaps him out of it. I'm not sure how long it took in-universe, but watching the fight it took like a minute, whereas Itachi was able to make Izumi live her entire life, then die of old age in less than a second. Even if Sasuke could break out of Tsukiyomi, I don't think it would save him, just due to the speed that the Jutsu takes effect. Itachi also has access to the Susano, a gigantic chakra avatar that can be used for both offense and defense. He has the Yadamir, a gigantic spirit shield that changes its properties to be able to deflect any attack, and the Totsuka Blade, a giant spirit sword that can extend, change shape, and permanently seal anyone that it pierces into another world. See where I'm going with this? Itachi also has access to two secret Sharingan abilities, Izanagi and Izanami. Izanagi allows the user to cast a Genjutsu on reality itself, allowing them to decide their own fate after an attack. Examples of this are Obito using it to escape Konan's 600 billion paper bombs, or the 10 times Danzo used it to revive himself in his fight against Sasuke. Izanami allows the user to trap its target in an infinite Genjutsu loop until the target accepts their fate and genuinely acknowledges the results of their actions. However, the catch to using these two abilities is that the eye that it was cast from will be permanently blinded. 
Hitachi was also gifted with Shisui's Mongekyo Sharingan, giving him access to Koto Matsupami, another one of the most powerful Genjutsu. With this ability, he's able to completely mind control the target. Funny enough, Hitachi actually stated that this was his backup plan for if Sasuke ever tried to attack the Leaf Village. Hitachi's kind of almost like Batman, in a way, thinking of potential strategies before they're even necessary. Koto Matsukami's mind control is so powerful that he was able to mind control himself to overpower Kabuto's complete Edo Tensei mind control, which, according to Kabuto, is a jutsu without weakness. Hitachi also has pretty high base stats being able to spar with Casey on Naruto, and also has access to powerful low-cost jutsu like the basic Sharingan abilities, the jutsu that he used to paralyze Orochimaru without even looking at him, and also fire release. Again, as Itachi's only in like 20 episodes, we don't get to see him fight very often, but when he does, he either completely obliterates his opponent, like the time where he one-shot Kakashi, the time where he one-shot Nagato, the time where he one-shot Kabuto, or both of the times where he one-shot Orochimaru. These were literally all of Itachi's serious fights. No, seriously. The only other times Itachi ever fights are against Sasuke, who he wouldn't kill, against Kurenai, who he also basically one-shots, and against KCM Naruto, where he brainwashes himself to end the fight. Besides his fight with Sasuke, we've literally never seen Itachi lose, and we've already established that Itachi didn't have killing intent towards Sasuke. But with Itachi out of the way, let's see if Sasuke has what it takes to take down his older brother. My initial thoughts are that things aren't looking too good for Sasuke. He's outclassed in literally every stat. No seriously, can you see this Sasuke that doesn't even have MS yet swapping hands with KCM Naruto? Because I can't. Itachi clearly outspeeds Sasuke. But what about combat capabilities? In the fight between Sasuke and Deidara, which happens literally right before Itachi versus Sasuke, Sasuke does beat Deidara, but he nearly dies in the process. This is what Sasuke looks like after their fight. To put this into perspective, Deidara only joined the Akatsuki because he lost a battle to Itachi after making a bet where he would join if he loses. Deidara's defeat was so humiliating that he swore revenge against Itachi and spent months to years with Itachi living rent free inside his head. I'll end Itachi vs Deidara here, but if you think Deidara wins for some reason, leave a comment and let's talk about it. Also, if Itachi beating Deidara didn't convince you, what about the times that Itachi humiliates Orochimaru? Do you think that heavy Sasuke is stronger than Orochimaru? Because I don't. Even Suigetsu, Sasuke's teammate and Orochimaru Orochimaru's prisoner only thinks that Sasuke beat him because Orochimaru's arms were sealed, and that Sasuke didn't surpass Orochimaru until after getting EMS. The Sasuke that fought Itachi didn't even have MS yet, so when comparing the two brothers, Itachi is significantly faster, has a more evolved Sharingan, has been shown to beat a character comparable to Heavy Sasuke and also a character significantly stronger than Heavy Sasuke, and has a higher durability through Susano and Yadamir. I definitely think that Itachi would have beaten Sasuke if he was bloodlusted. The final nail in the coffin for Sasuke comes at the end of their battle. Sasuke was completely out of chakra when Orochimaru emerged, with Itachi still having a Susano up now to fight Orochimaru. So let's take a break here for a second, and assume that somehow Orochimaru actually beats Itachi here. Would you then count this as a win for Sasuke, because that seems kind of weird to me. I'd argue that by this point, Sasuke already lost the battle, as he's clearly out of chakra, and the fight is now Itachi versus Orochimaru. Itachi then easily seals Orochimaru and continues marching his Susanoo towards Sasuke, who's basically shaking in fear and stated that he already used his last jutsu. I feel like at this point, it's kind of hard to argue that Sasuke deserved the win, but he definitely put up a good fight and did push a half blind sick Itachi. But what do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. At the time of making this video, I literally have zero subscribers. So if you subscribe or comment, it will literally make my day. I plan to make many anime discussion and power scaling videos, and I genuinely would love any feedback at all that you have. I really do need it. But with that said, I hope you have an absolutely phenomenal day, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be How Strong is Boruto Now? It'll go live in the next few days, so the only way to ensure that you don't miss it is hit that notification bell, and have a great day. See ya.